wait! I'm late for a very important date. I'm late! I'm late for a very important date. We've got the latest World Cup qualifying and predictions coming at you from Europe. Here they come, and I'm late! That's right, folks, back once again with another prediction video today. We look forward to match number 6.2 in the old World Cup qualifying campaign over in Europe. And we'll get to that in just one second. If you're new, where you been? Smash your subscribe and bang up the day with all things World Cup qualifying related, Batman Rovers related, World Football related. We got it all here, boys, on the bloody road. I'm back. Of course, back from being on the road. Of course, been away for a few days. I tried to get this one done last night. The hotel had shitty, the shittiest Wi-Fi. I couldn't even get into my Google. Uh, it was that dodgy. So I thought, you know what? Screw it. I'll do it when I get home. So here I am back at home. It is late. Uh, of course, the games will kick off very, very soon. So get in there with your picks. Waste no more time. Let's jump in the deep end. And I'll, of course, have a little look at it. Of course, bigger shout out to the VIPs. The other patrons. Get involved with it. So here are we. I go. Oh, bloody, I'm hanging off, off the edge of a cliff here. So let me just scoot myself over. No, that's not how to do it. Let's scoot myself over. There we go. Here we go. Then, of course, look back at the, the of course, uh, 5.2 picks. Here we go. Of course, uh, Involving England, involving Germany, of course, and Scotland are in this one, are they? No, they're not. Uh, Kosovo did uh, get only a point against Greece in the end, 1 1 draw. I went with a 2 1 win for Greece. Shame on me. Spain bounced back with a 4 of course, 4 0 win over Georgia. I went with a 3 0 win myself. Uh, Bulgaria did beat Lithuania 1 0, of course, keep themselves in the mix. In England's group, Switzerland against Italy was a 0 0 draw. Of course, Italy remain unbeaten. Still the world champions at the moment. Still linear world champions as well, actually, of course. Uh, Belarus, uh, uh, Euro champions, and you know what I mean. Anyway, Belarus against Wales was a 3 2 win. Gareth Bale showed there. Uh, giving Wales a bit of hope, of course, on the road. Belgium did uh, run right against the Czechs. 3 0. I went with a 4 1 win myself. Albania did beat Hungary. I went with a 2 2 draw myself. A 1 0 win was the result. England just a 4 0 win over Andorra. I went with a 6 0. Poland went right over San Marino. 7 1 win. I went with just a 3 0 win. Uh, Iceland against North Macedonia was a 2 2 draw, not a yellow. I went with a 2 1 win myself for Iceland. And Germany did score six past Armenia to get himself right back in contention over in their group. And of course, Romania did beat Liechtenstein just the two nil. So I got myself one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, which is okay, but it's not brilliant because, of course, you guys are brilliant. Have a look at your picks right here, right now. If an eight would have got me mid table, it looks like around about 17th. There you go. Pretty shit, pretty shitty in the end. But of course, if you want to be top bins, you've got to be number one, that is. And even Tyler with 11 score piece there, of course. Well done to you. Well done indeed. I haven't really scrutinized that. That picks because I am running late. Uh, but of course, 11 does seem quite high compared to everybody else. And of course, the chasing back of 10 as well. What's that done to the overall table? Well, here it comes. Of course, we've been doing these way back when since match number one. We are at around about the halfway mark, over the halfway mark indeed. Uh, as we get closer, I think October seals the bloody deal, doesn't it? But of course, this K is your man at the moment with 86 uh, corrected uh, picks. Of course, Master Fighters in second, Hans Worst is in third. It is very, very tight. Jonathan Lou's up there as well. And James B. City are great, also in the top five. It is, of course, very, very very tight at the moment. Of course, the right around the corner is match number 6.2. Of course, we've got the latest round of picks coming at you right here. So get involved. Cut the four slash WC22 Euro. And if you are savvy with a phone, you could use that link right here, right now. So here we go then. Of course, a recap of the groups. Of course, games are going live as we as we, as we we speak. Uh, of course, Portugal did win earlier. So, of course, that's a bit of a spoiler there. Serbia won and up at the moment against Ireland. Of course, Ireland have an absolute uh, diabolical uh, qualifying campaign at the moment. Of course, they're, they're long time out. Uh, and we must Spain bounce back, of course, to top of the table over in Group B. Sweden got a couple of games in hand, uh, realistically, to take command of Group B whenever that kicks off again. Uh, Italy are in command over in Group C, as are Switzerland. Uh, not too far away. Bulgaria not in the English group. What am I talking about? Meanwhile, France are in command over at the moment in Group D. Ukraine are... Uh alongside Finland uh, trying to get the runners up spot uh, Belgium of course won it running away with it in Group E Czech Republic are in second spot uh, Wales got a couple of games to hand on both of those two sides uh, of course Denmark in command at the moment in Group F Scotland keeping up the heat in second spot there wanting that one up at the moment against Austria on the road that's a good result for them I've got bug bites all over the place from Georgia the state uh, speaking of Georgia well uh, where are they don't even know where they are uh, the, the Netherlands in command over in Group G as are Norway uh, they're of course joint at the moment of course Turkey also in the mix but they are losing at the moment to the Dutchies 
Uh, of course, Group H sees Russia in command around Croatia. Also, level on points for them is, as well. England running away with it in Group I. Of course, 100% record so far. Poland also doing well uh, in second spot. And Germany are back on top, of course, uh, looking very, very good. Armenia in second still. But, of course, after that 6 0 drop in by uh, Germany, who's the daddy there? Of course, it's going to be Germany, hasn't it? But let's take a look at, of course, the next round of matches. Let's get into the deep end. Uh, then, shall we? Of course, these games take place tomorrow. No rest for the wicked. Of course, Greece will open us up, up against Sweden. Of course, let's take a look at these two sides there, shall we? Of course, they played each other two times in 2003. One win apiece, uh, no draws. That one only win for Greece was a 2 1 win. The biggest win the other way was, of course, with a 2 0 win for the Swed. Uh, they come into 75% form, just one defeat in six. Meanwhile, the same can be said for Greece, just one defeat in the past six, of course, but they come into 58% form. The last time they played each other in Greece was a 2 0 win for Sweden. That was back in June 2018. Of course, so far, this international break, Sweden have beaten Spain. They've also beaten Uzbekistan in a friendly. Meanwhile, Greece come into this on the back of a, a, a loss against the Swiss. They also drew against Kosovo uh, in the end. The book is odds on this one. What do we have on this? We do have uh, we have a 13 to 5 is your Greece, 23 to 20 is your Sweden, 11 to 5 is your draw. I've gone with a 2 2 draw on this one. Pick that one out if you like it, of course, uh, for me. A bit of a surprise on that one. Meanwhile, Kosovo taking on Spain. Let's get into this one now, shall we? Of course, a chance for Spain to really get control of this group, uh, of course. Take, uh, the finish of just the one time since 2021. Of course, one win for Spain. That was a 3 1 win back in, of course, Spain last round. That was, of course, back in March 2021. The Spanish come into this. Uh, just one win in the past uh, three games. In fourth, uh, just uh, two defeats past six games. Uh, 67% for me. Well, Kosovo coming to this. Just one defeat past six. That one defeat was against uh, Guinea, of course. They come into this on the back of a draw against Greece and a win against Georgia. Meanwhile, Spain coming to this. Uh, also get a win against Georgia and also uh, a loss against Sweden over in Sweden, of course. Of course, uh, Spain will be 100% favourites on this one. Uh, 11 2 on. They are your favourites. 40 to 1 is your Kosovo. They are home. 11 2 is your draw. I'm going to go with Spain on this one. Going to go big as well. 4 1 win. And of course, maybe a bit of a flexing their muscles sort of stuff on this one. Italy, of course, haven't been good this international break, but of course, maybe post Euro hangover. Uh, they played uh, Lithuania four ta five times in the past, winning four of them and uh, drawing just the once. The biggest win over Lithuania was a 4 0 win. They scored 10 goals to their one over the course of those five matches. They come into this back to back draws, of course. Meanwhile, Lithuania have a lost six in the bounce. Uh, of course, the last time they played in Italy was a 1 1 draw back in uh, September 2006. Wow, wow, wee wow. Uh, of course, Italy come into this on the back of draws against Bulgaria and also draws against the Swiss. Meanwhile, uh, Lithuania come into this against losses against Bulgaria and also losses against Northern Ireland as well. So you'd fancy Italy to run right on this one. 20 to 1 on. They are your hot, red hot favourites. 20 to 1 is draw. 20 to 1 is your Lithuania. Uh, of course, they're going to get beat, aren't they? 3 0 in the end for me. Uh, Northern Ireland taking on uh, Switzerland, of course. Must win game, I think, for Northern Ireland. Uh, and this one played each other three times since 2004. One win for Northern Ireland. Sorry, one win for the Swiss. No wins for Northern Ireland. Two draws, of course. The one and only win for the Swiss was a 1 0 win. Last time I played each other in Northern Ireland was, in fact, that 1 0 win. That's back in uh, November 2017. It was World Cup qualifying campaign. It was a playoff match as well. Uh, Northern Ireland played each other these two sides, of course, three times. They're yet to score against them, uh, stretching all the way back to 2004. Northern Ireland's campaign so far has been good. Back-to-back uh, -back wins, beating Estonia and also beating Lithuania, which does count for three points. Of course, Switzerland coming to us with that draw against Italy and also a win against Greece, which I think was a friendly. Look at the odds on this one. 4-1 to is your Northern Ireland. 11-8 on is your uh, Swiss. They are the favourites. So of course, 5-2 to is your draw. I'm going to go with a 2-1 win for the Swiss. Uh, fortunately, that's a bit of a dent in the uh, in the chances, of course, for Northern Ireland. Belarus will take on Belgium. One-sided affair, I expect, on this one. Play each other one time since 2021. It's been an 8-0 win. That was back in uh, in Belgium, uh, of course. Uh, they come into this 8-3% perform for Belgium. Just one defeat the past six. That was in the Euros. Meanwhile, Belarus coming to this. Uh, about four defeats on the bounce. Uh, of course, that one only win was back in March. Of course, it was an 8-0 win for Belgium in Belgium. And, of course, Belgium's campaign so far. Seen them score eight goals over the course of two games. Beating Estonia and also beating the Czech Republic. Meanwhile, Belarus coming to this on the back of back-to-back -back defeats. Losing to the Welsh last time around. And also losing to the Czechs back at the start of the month. Uh, look at the odds on this one. What do we have on this? We have 20 to 1 Belarus. Uh, long shot 7 to 1 is your draw. 8 to 1 on is your Belgium. They are, of course, they're going to win this one, aren't they? 3 0 win. In the end, Wales, though, can they keep up the heat? They're going to be taking on Estonia, that's right. Also on Wednesday on uh, this badger. Of course, they played each other just one time since 2009. It was a 1 win out of 1 for Wales. It was a 1 0 win, uh, of course, back in uh, in Wales, back in May 2019. It was a friendly. Uh, of course, they come into this uh, back to back games without a loss, uh, but just one win the past four games for Wales. Meanwhile, Estonia coming to this back to back defeats as well. However, on 50% form. Both sides coming to this 50% form. Uh, of course, Estonia's running uh, so far this uh, qualifying campaign. I've seen them lose to uh, Belgium, also lost to Northern Ireland in a bit of a friendly. Uh, meanwhile, the Welsh coming to us on the, on the back of back-to-back uh, -back, uh, games without a win. Of course, they drew with the Finns in a, in a, in a friendly. Uh, they also beat the Belarus as well back on the 5th of uh, September. Look at the odds on this one. Of course, I think the Welsh will be your favourites. 7-1 uh, is on is your Welsh. They are the home team on this one. 3-1 one is, is your draw. 61 is your long shots. That's Estonia. Welsh should win this one. I'm going with a 2-0 win in the end. Albania.
Virginia will take on, of course, uh, who are you? Who are you? Who are you? They're going to be taking on, uh, I can't see it, it's Sam Bloody Marino. That's right, of course, it's going to be one-sided on this one as well. Uh, these two sided players are the two times in 2014. Two wins out of two for Albania. The biggest win over San Marino was a 3 0 win. That was all the way back in 2014. However, the last time they played each other was in San Marino. It was a World Cup qualifying match. It was a 2 0 win and went in favour of Albania. Albania came to this 42% form, just one win in the past four games. Meanwhile, six defeats on the spin for San Marino, uh, of course, are struggling. They have, have suffered uh, defeats against Andorra and, uh, of course, a defeat against Bo uh, Poland recently. Meanwhile, Albania came to this on the back of a defeat to Poland. Also, a, a win against uh, Hungary, of course, giving them a bit of life in their qualifying campaign, of course. The book is odds. 100% uh, favourites, of course, will be Albania 25 to 1 on uh, for the victory. 14 to 1 is your draw. 33 to 1 is your long shots. That's San Marino. I'm going to go with a, a win for Albania. Of course, they am. No questions asked on this one. Poland against England, though. Now, this game uh, is a big one, of course, for the command of this group. Um... Those are the 10 times since 1986. If Poland haven't beaten uh, England in those 10 occasions, so there's been seven wins for England and three draws. The biggest win for England was a 3 0 win. Um, heading into this last time, in Poland was a 1 1 draw back in October 2012. It was a World Cup qualifying match as well. Uh, this will be the second time that they played each other in this group. Also, England won 2 1 over in Wembley last round. England coming into this 83% form, just one defeat the past six. That was in the Euro final. Meanwhile, Poland coming into this 50% form, uh, back to back wins. Of course, they've beaten uh, San Marino and Albania, uh, scoring 11 goals in the course of their two matches. Meanwhile, England scored eight over the course of their two matches beaten Andorra and also beaten Hungary as well uh, look at the odds on this one I think it's going to be quite tight on the odds on this one 90 to 4 is your Poland 5 to 3 on Asia England Red Hot favourites actually 11 to 4 is your draw I've actually got I think I've gone with yeah I've gone with England 3-1 win in the end no surprises on that one Hungary uh, are they hungry for a win of course they need to bounce back they're going to be taking on Andorra and this is a perfect match for them to do just that uh, these two side players are the 5 times to 2012 4 wins for Hungary 1 win for Andorra and no draws the biggest win for, for Hungary was a 5 nil win the biggest win for Andorra was a 1 nil win uh, of course, uh, last time they played each other in Hungary, it was a fact of 4-0 win back in uh, November 2016. Of course, Andorra coming to this on the back of that defeat to England, also a narrow a narrow win uh, over San Marino, 2-0 in the end. Hungary coming to this on the back of the back-to-back -back losses, back-to-back -back games without scoring a goal as well. A bit of a post-Euro hangover for them, uh, losing to England, losing to Albania as well. So not great for them. Of course, they need the result here. 25-1. to one. Uh, I'm looking at the right one. I'm not looking at the right one. I'm looking at Hungary. Uh, it is 16-1 uh, on for Hungary. Of course, 10-1 is your draw. 33-1 to one is your long shots us Andorra on this. Going to go with the tuna with uh, uh, Hungary to take it to the bank. Armenia, uh, they're going to be taking on Liechtenstein again. A one-sided affair you would expect on this one. Please the five times in 2018. Three wins for Armenia, two draws. Nothing for Liechtenstein in the bank. The Liechtenstein committees uh, no wins of the past six. Meanwhile, Armenia committees uh, four games without a win for them as well. Uh, last time I in Armenia was a 3 0 win for Armenia back in June 2019. Of course, they committed Armenia back to back games without scoring a goal. Drawing with North Macedonia 0 0 and also losing to Germany 6 0. Meanwhile, Liechtenstein committed with a with a narrow loss against Germany and a narrow loss against Romania, maybe they've put they patched up the, the defence there to cause some problems. Uh, the odds on this one though, Armenia nine to one on for the victory. Fifty two is your draw. Twenty two to one is your Liechtenstein on this. Going to go with a three 0 in again for Armenia. A lot of goals being scored uh, against the Minnows. Bit of a big one this one though. Could be Iceland up against Germany. Uh, of course, locking horns on the Wednesday as well. Played each other three times in two thousand three. Two wins for Germany. Nothing for Iceland and one draw. The biggest win for Germany was a three 0 win. Uh, of course, last time played each other in Iceland was a nil nil draw back in uh, September two thousand and three. Uh, of course, heading into this, uh, Iceland have played uh, and lost to Romania earlier in the campaign, of course, and they also drew with North Macedonia uh, just the other day. Meanwhile, Germany coming to this back-to-back -back wins, yet to concede a goal under the Hansi Flick era, scoring eight goals over the course of two matches. They come to this 14-1, uh, 14-1 is your Iceland long shots, 5-1 to is your Germany, 11-2 is your draw. Going to go with the Germany on this one, 3-1 win, maybe a 3-0, maybe, of course, a three clean sheets on the bounce. And then finally, we have North Macedonia against Romania. Let's get into this one then, shall we? Uh, of course, they played the four times in 2004, three wins for Romania, one for North Macedonia. Macedonia and no draws. Uh, of course, that one and only win for North Macedonia was a one-day win. The biggest win for Romania was a 3-2 win. They could be just back-to-back -back wins for Romania, back-to-back -back draws for North Macedonia. Last time I played each other in North Macedonia was a 2-1 win for Romania. That's right, goodness gracious me. Romania come into this. Uh, two new wins over Liechtenstein and Iceland to get themselves right back in the thick of things over in the respective group. I'm trying to see where they are. They're actually into third right now uh, ahead of North Macedonia, who are fourth. North Macedonia come into this uh, with draws against Armenia and Iceland, of course. Uh, two tricky uh, matches as well. Odds on this one 30 to 10 is your North Macedonia, 20 to 1 uh, to 10 is your Romania, and 11 to 5 is your draw. Tough one, this one, gonna go with a draw right down the bloody mill, which I think would fancy Romania instead. That's my picks for match number 6.2. Of course, they're right around the corner, so get involved right here, right now with your predictions, as of course we look forward to this one. Of course, we'll be back, of course, for match number 7.1 and point two in the month of October, but of course, we'll bring you back up today with the Prediction League when we return. And that, my friends, is all I've got for you. Hopefully, you enjoyed this one. Be sure to give the video some a smash the old thumb 
thumbs up, smash your subscribe, check out the links down below. And of course, I'm on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, as well as Patreon as well. Until then, I'll see you soon for the next one. Until then, smash your love, give us some loving, get your pics in. Until then, we are done.